you know, you got you got a lot of guys, and you got the guys that came out of the football, you know, out of West Texas football, Merced Solis, uh, Dick Murdoch, who was amazing because uh, Dick Murdoch was, uh, you know, West Texas had some great football players, Dwayne Thomas, Mercury Morris, myself. No, but I now, did. But, now, no, but, but I did. I did play. I did but you play. okay? Stan, I did play good ball. Stan Hansen, Stan Hansen and, and, and Bobby Duncombe and, and Bobby Duncombe. West Texas State. But Murdoch was not a Murdoch was so no. good. He was so slick. He even convinced. He played in the alumni games for that, West Texas State. Right. Never played. Never played. Never went to West Texas State. But he convinced people after the fact. He did. Yeah, he he was convinced so good. people at West Texas. Yes. And he actually went out there and never played a, a down of football. <laughs> At all. The God's honest truth went out there. Until and, he got in the alumni game. Yeah, and played middle linebacker. Yeah. And did a hell of a job. Because he could do anything. Yeah, you know, as I saw him and John Ayers, John Ayers was my good friend too, another guy that actually wrestled in the business and refereed yeah. some. And John was a uh, wonderful, wonderful football player for the San Francisco 49ers whenever they were winning Super Bowls year after year, you know. And... uh Dick Murdoch, I saw him say, John, I want to race you across, you know, I'll run you a race, John. Well, where do you want to run this and that? And they decided they're going to run across the football field, you know, not lengthwise, but 55 yeah. yards across. And John beat him by about three yards, but Murdoch stayed right up with him. I mean, it was just amazing. And Ayers ran, I don't know how fast he ran, but he was, he was great and fast. But Dick Murdoch with that big beer belly and everything didn't <laughs> wasn't that far behind him that time. <laughs> it I seemed like Murdoch. Dick's belly you know, got, you know what got I did? his arms and I legs got smaller what, and his belly got bigger. We were in Atlanta, Dick and I were, you know, and I went ahead and we was after Atlanta and been wrestling and everything else and and we both went out to said, Let's go have some beer. So we went out to this bar at this shop. It was a shopping mall but it was an outside mall you know what i mean it was like well it was strip, not strip inside. mall deals yeah well, you, you go got, outside to go you know, to the got, you, well, you got the drug store and this store yeah. and that store and that everything else you know and then they had this bar in there you know and it always had a lot of people in there and everything else so murdoch and i was decided we was going to go get a beer you know so we went up there and uh, whenever we went up there it was next to this grocery store well they had all of these carts out there you know it was uh that you have in the grocery store that you carry your groceries in but then you take them outside you know and you put your groceries in your car and you leave them out there in a the parking lot so it was out there and the bar was there and we'd been in there for several hours and i said to dick you know he's going back out the car and i got in the car and i said dick i said you know and there was one of those carts you know turn on the lights and there was a cart right in front of the car. And I said, Dick, you know what would be really, really funny? He said, what's that? I said, if, if you would go ahead, if you get in that cart, and I'll get behind you in the car, and I'll push you by the front <laughs> of the bar. Ho, 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 Budrow, that'd be funny. <laughs> That's what Murdoch said. You, know, you bet, Budrow, uh, that'd be funny. Yeah. So he went ahead and got in that damn thing. <laughs> he got in that, <laughs> that grocery cart, you know, and he was in there hanging out on every side. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you know. So I went in there. So I got him going up there, you know, I got behind him, got him headed right straight towards that, that bar up there, you know, and I got him going about. The, but then all of a sudden I raced up the car and got him going yeah. about 25 or 30, and he's hollering, whoa, Budro, whoa, <laughs> Budro, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down, Budro, you know, and I just <laughs> slammed on the brakes and let that <laughs> son of a gun go. He kept on going there. He didn't go through the front door or anything, but he, he had a good lesson that <laughs> night. His father was a wrestler, too, Frankie Hill Murdoch, and Frankie probably Hill. had tons of matches with your dad, and you guys oh, he did, were, yeah. what, at the Amarillo uh, Sports oh, Arena yeah. at this is Murdoch, eight, nine, ten Murdoch years old, always, yeah, out Murdoch. in the crowd, right? Well, no, we'd go ahead and get up in the ring afterwards, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'd always go ahead and beat the crap out of him all the time. There. I could then, though, because I was four years older than him, see. He's Wait. just a little bitty shit.